fact is, I saw a UFO. This time on Unexplained Mysteries, real people, real UFOs. We'll hear stories from ordinary people who have encountered actual UFOs. It had like Egyptian writing, like backwards writing on it. The residents of a small town in Pennsylvania who witnessed an unbelievable sight. No wings, there was uh, no tail section, there was no motors, there was no windows, there was no doors. It was big enough for a grown person to stand up in. Our data files will shock you with true accounts like the unexplained lights above a small Idaho community. At the top of those trees over there, there was a bright light shining. And the UFOs observed over a peaceful country town. All of a sudden, these objects started coming up out of the treetops. The close encounter of a chopper and a UFO. We were almost involved in a mid-air collision. The frightened witness who was chased by a hostile craft. And this object made a right hand turn. And by this point, I was getting really scared. The remarkable reports of actual physical evidence of unidentified flying objects. I noticed that on the back of the vehicle, it had something that was covered by a tarp. The irrefutable accounts of military personnel who witnessed UFOs while on duty. The light tracked at a high speed and came to a stop, altered direction. The disturbing case of one man who was threatened if he went public with what he saw. All these guys coming in telling me that if I don't keep my mouth shut, they're gonna throw me in jail. And we'll give you the final evaluation with our UNX report here on Unexplained Mysteries, Real People, Real UFOs. UFOs have puzzled and frightened witnesses since their first documented appearance in 1947. Around the world, thousands of people have been shocked by encounters of the first kind. Visual contact with an unidentified flying object. I saw this big triangular shaped three lights on each corner coming over my house. Sliding through the sky and it mm -hmm. tilted like it was looking down at us. Over there, at the top of those trees over there, there was a bright light shining. Encounters so close, witnesses can actually see the details on the UFO. They turn up on their side and you see like laser beams of light. And there are mysterious phenomena threatening innocent humans. In Scranton, Pennsylvania, a woman was followed by an object in the night sky. And this object made a right hand turn. And by this point, I was getting really scared. Victims traumatized by what they saw. I've never seen him shake. He actually was just shaking. I feel uncomfortable in the dark, not because I think there's a monster out there waiting for me, uh, but because there's something out there. And I didn't see what was behind the light. Some witnesses support their claim with startling videotape evidence and even the testimony of local police officers. I didn't believe initially when I received the call that I, there would be anything of substance. I saw four or five bright objects up in the air. In Gulf Breeze, Florida, a man videotaped what he says is an actual UFO. But the fact is, I videotaped and saw a UFO. And his account is confirmed by his neighbors. There's a lot more people willing to, to acknowledge that they've had a sighting uh, than, than, you know, five years ago. Kecksburg, Pennsylvania, a quiet town like thousands of other American towns. After some townspeople saw a UFO, the town would forever split into those who saw it and those who don't believe them. I happened to look up in the sky and I seen this red fireball. It, it sure wasn't a meteor, because I've seen them fall before. I never seen any of them with blue lights on. And it looked like it made a, a turn and come back again. And when it come back, it seemed like it went down. What these townsfolk saw will astound you. I got my flashlight and I started down through the woods up to where it was at. There was no wings, there was uh, 
no tail section, there was no motors, there was no windows, there was no doors. It was big enough for a grown person to stand up in. It had like Egyptian writing, like backwards writing on it. Stars and circles and dashes and lines and things like that. It looked like uh, an acorn. It was really weird. And then it got weirder. It wasn't too much longer. Uh, down through the woods come two gentlemen. The one gentleman, very ramrod straight, very authoritative voice, crew cut hair. I mean, he just reeked of military. He looked object and looked at us. He says, all right, this is now a restricted area. Unions are all ordered out of here. A flatbed went down and empty, and they come back out with something on the back of it covered up about the size of a Volkswagen. What really happened that night? Some townsfolk say nothing happened at all. Are they lying? If so, why? You've got this town split into two groups. You've got the believers and the non-believers. You've got neighbors and neighbors that has known each other all their life. Now they don't want to talk. One believes it and one don't believe it. Experts believe that some of the people of Kecksburg are participating in a hoax. Virtually all of the accounts can be explained by people having looked toward and seeing the Ontario meteor. I don't know how some people can say that nothing ever happened when there were so many people that saw things that night. Something had to happen. Freedom of Information Act states there was 212 military personnel here that night. But why are some people so sure that nothing at all happened that strange night? UFO researcher Stan Gordon has been investigating this case since he heard the original report. Could be that some of these people were in the wrong place at that time. They were in a position where they didn't see what was going on. The fact that there are dozens of people independent of each other who don't even know each other yet, who have given us detailed information about what they experienced and saw that night. And they're giving us confirming information that has not been published yet. There is no hard evidence or debris from the crash, so Gordon's research is limited to relying on people to tell the truth. As in so many of these cases, you have to go by the eyewitness accounts. And in this case, the eyewitness accounts are very, very strong. If we had the physical hardware, the mystery would be over. Soon after the Kecksburg incident, Clifford Stone saw a strange delivery at Lockland Air Force Base in Asheville, Ohio. Kecksburg is only 200 miles away. I noticed that on the back of the vehicle, it had something that was covered by a tarp. It was about uh, 10 to 12 foot at the base, 12 foot tall. It looked like a chocolate drop. When my friend told me that uh, every question I ever had about UFOs was under that canvas, I was mystified. Do these residents of a small town know the truth? As far as they're concerned, they simply want the answer once and for all. The public has the right to know the true facts regardless of what the object was or what really occurred. What was the object and why after 27 years haven't they revealed what really was found? Who or what is behind the UFO phenomenon? Coming up, we'll show you more shocking evidence of UFO encounters. This was an object that moved at a very fast rate of speed. Unassailable testimony from police officers who witnessed UFOs. I saw four or five bright objects up in the air. And stay tuned for actual footage of UFOs recorded by eyewitnesses, including rare footage of a new type of sighting. We now are going through a series, it seems, of daylight sightings. And we'll find out if UFO sightings are simply hoaxes. Judgment, if you will. But the fact is, I've videotaped and saw a UFO. But are they friendly, or are they a threat to our existence? This object made a right hand turn, and by this point,